Welcome to our check-in property management software demonstration video. My name is Brandi Whitaker and I'm the General Manager of Insoft Incorporated. Check-in is developed, maintained, and supported by Insoft. For more information about our company and our different product options, feel free to visit us online at www.insoft.com or give us a call at 1-800-950-8995. During this video, we will demonstrate how to create a reservation. A second video is available that will show you how to use this reservation to check in the guest and how to check out the guest. Check-in is easy to use and you'll be surprised at how quickly you can train your front desk staff. There are several ways to accept a reservation. To save time and help prevent overbooking, many properties choose one or more of our internet reservation options. These include our direct-in booking engine for your website, GDS interface to several major providers, and OTA interfaces to Expedia and Booking.com. However, for this video, we are going to demonstrate the process of manually entering a reservation received directly from the guest, such as over the phone. So let's get started. I have enabled the advanced password feature of check-in, so I will need to enter my password to log in. You aren't required to set up passwords, however, we highly recommend using the advanced passwords functionality. Give our support team a call for more information about this feature. On the top of the check-in screen is the name of the property. My property is called Brandy's Place as located in Beaverton. In this scenario, Faith Hilton has just called us on the phone to make a reservation starting tonight for a six-night stay. She has requested a double queen non-smoking room. From the main menu of check-in, click on Reservations. On the reservation screen, we can see that the hotel has 11 rooms available tonight. Six of these rooms are double queen non-smoking, and five of these rooms are double queen smoking. From this screen, we can create a reservation two ways. You can double click on today's date, or we can use the reservation grid. I'll demonstrate both options. Let's go ahead and click on November 13th. This takes us to our room selection screen. This screen provides several details. Notice that the room types are displayed with three different colors. Green means the room is clean, blue means the room is dirty, and red means the room is not available. We can look at different days by either using the drop-down calendar or clicking these buttons. Also notice on the right-hand side, you will see a column titled Next Reservation. For each room, this displays the date of and number of days until the next reservation. This is a fast way to see whether or not the room you are choosing can accommodate Faith Hilton's new reservation. Room 104 doesn't have another reservation for 26 days, so Faith Hilton's six-day stay will work. We could select the room we want and complete the reservation process from here, but let's go back and take a look at the reservation grid instead. Now we're back on the reservation screen. Instead of double clicking on the date, I'm going to select View Reservation Grid. The grid will show room availability in a color-coded graphical display. Green is an occupied room, red is a non-guaranteed reservation, and yellow is a guaranteed reservation. We are going to select room 104 by double-clicking on the square that corresponds to today's date. This is the date the reservation begins. This launches the Quick Guest Search screen. This screen allows us to look back through the guest history to see if the guest has stayed with us in the past. As you can see, Faith Hilton has stayed here before. But for this scenario, we're going to go ahead and treat this as a new guest. So I'm going to click Cancel. Now we're on the reservation information screen. Since this is a reservation made over the phone, we will need to manually enter the guest information. You can enter as much or as little information as you like depending on your policies. For this example, we are only going to enter the guest's name and the rate. We will obtain the rest of the information when she checks in. After we type her name, we will need to click on the rate field. This brings up our room rate screen. She's staying for six nights and there will be only one adult in the room. 
Notice here that it has defaulted to daily rates. However, there are additional options for weekly, monthly, and package rates. In my property, I've gone ahead and set up different rate descriptions and rate rules. Faith Hilton is going to be charged a rack rate. If you select this rate and click on Display Rates, it will show you the details of how much the rate is on each day. Notice here that my weekend rate is higher than my weekday rates. We highly recommend setting up rate rules such as this to maximize your revenue. Your rates can be based on many factors such as days of the week, different date ranges such as busier times of the year, room type, or property occupancy, etc. These rate rules are easy to set up and the more you use the rate rules, the higher your revenue will become. Call our support team for more information about how to easily set up your rate rules. Sometimes though, you need to enter custom rates. If so, you can easily click custom rates and enter whatever rate is appropriate for this particular guest for each day. For instance, if her rate should be $75 for each of the weekdays, you can enter that rate for each one and so forth. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and stick with the rack rate for Faith Hilton. Notice now it has updated the rate information the number of nights. But be careful, the rate that's showing here is just the rate for the first night. Remember that her rate for the weekend was different. I'm going to complete my reservation for Faith Hilton by entering her credit card information. If your property requires a deposit, then you can click on the Enter Deposit button located here. One very important feature that we recommend using is the Remarks screen. Click Remarks in the bottom right corner. The Remarks to Guest field allows us a place to put in a brief remark to the customer that will print on their folio. For instance, if Faith Hilton mentions she's in town for a family reunion, we can type a small note to her here. The next section is the Market Codes field. This section is very important for a business. This will allow you to easily track where your re reservations come from. Faith Hilton has mentioned she found your property on the internet. If you click on the button Insert Market Code, the drop-down will give you several different options depending on how you've set up your property. I'm going to go ahead and click Internet, but notice I've set up other options for Booking.com, Car Show, Direct In, Expedia, and Walk In. These can be customized. Click Insert, and notice now that Internet has been entered into the Market Codes field. You can enter more than one market code for each customer. The additional remark screen is for internal use only. Now that we're done here, we're going to go back to the reservation screen. Now that we've finished up our reservation, we're going to click Continue. Notice we're back on the reservation grid, but now room 104 shows Faith Hilton's reservation starting on the 13th today and ending on the 18th on Sunday. Notice when I hover over the reservation, it shows her name. This completes the reservation process. If you have any questions about what we've done today, please give us a call. Once again, our number is 800-950-8995. Thank you for choosing InSoft.